Hello and welcome once again to our one. As always, I'm Charlie, and this time we're we'll taking a look at the game Rogue Legacy. As always, I'll be playing the first hour of the game to give my thoughts and impressions on the game after that. So with that being said, let's get to it. Starting the timer now. Alright, so... Okay, kick the crap out of a craning dummy. Ooh, throwing knives. You know I had those. Select a teleporter. Don't have any, I don't think. No! That was quick. She's tiny! But she has awesome moves! Holy crap! Whoa! That was quick. This guy does not have a lot of health. Nope! Great. Why is art evil in this game? <laughs> Shit, that's a bleeding eyeball. Really? Oh, no shield. That sucks. Oh shit, double painting. Oh. 
Things I thought I would never say. Oh shit, double painting. Got 90 gold, it's not terrible. Holy shit, those are big. Yeah! Hell. Cool. Fuck you, evil painting. Oh, God damn it. Oh, that's pretty solid. That's a pretty solid spell. <laughs> Nostalgic. I like that one. Oh, it's my nostalgic. Got it. It's retro in here now. The hell does that mean? Ah, oh, so chests don't reset. That sucks. You know there's some guy out there who's got this right on the first try, and I am not that guy. It's like, yep, yeah, that's pretty easy.
No, no chance. Make it rain. All right, so you heard the alarm go up. It's obviously an hour. So, Rogue Legacy. Um, I find it fun. I find it fun in the most irritating way possible, if that makes any sense. Um, I've heard a lot of games claim to be Dark Souls-esque over the years, and, you know, this has got to be the most Dark Souls-esque game I've played in a long, long, long time. And by that, I mean it's not it's frustrating, but oddly addictive. Like, it's... This game could also inherit the You Will Die moniker, and I'm sure there's someone out there amazing at side-scrollers that whoop this game's ass on the first try kind of thing. I am not that person. I have had fun with this game. Um, the whole You Die and Restart system, I like in this one actually more than Dark Souls because it's not the same level over and over. There's There are elements carried over from each one, like equipment, new equipment you get and new power-ups you get back at your mansion and stuff like that, but I like how every single time you run it, it's a different level, or you can choose to lock it down if you have an especially good run, or especially one you think might be a good one. I really like that mechanic, and it keeps it fresh while I occasionally could find Dark Souls, which I love, to become frustrating based off, I've already done this area 13 times, I know where everything is, it's the guy at the end that still murders me every time, and... Different things for different people. If you find Dark Souls frustrating in that regard, you can find it can get repetitious, but you really enjoy that very sharp, dumb challenge curve. This is probably a good game for you. Um, the controls are good. I compare this game a lot to Shovel Knight in my mind. It's very similar to Shovel Knight. There's a couple things I think Shovel Knight does a little bit better. This game is harder than Shovel Knight is, though, too. Um, controls are super precise. The lineage system, the thing where every time I die, it's new character. I find that really charming in a weird way how each character has traits. I now have favorite traits, and occasionally I'll pick something because the traits are ridiculous, like giant. I love the dwarf characters, mostly because they look ridiculous. On the, they're tiny, but because they can dodge under things. It is it is a really cool system in itself. It's, it could be the basis for a game, period, and the fact you throw it in this kind of interesting side-scroller, you-will-die scenario, it's really kind of cool. It's a nice, fun take on Extra Lives. Um, story's kind of non-existently important in this case. It's still cool. I, I really like the mechanics of how they force you to try and make it the best one every time and then kind of risk-reward it at the end, where it's like, you can lock it down, sure, but you're not going to make as much gold, and the gold does not carry over each time. It's cool. Um... That being said, there's not much to talk about this, really. It's a side-scroller, it's Castlevania-esque, it's Shovel Knight-esque, um, maybe it's Metroid-esque in some regards, probably closer to Castlevania, though, and Shovel Knight in that regard, even the old, <laughs> excuse me, old Zelda game to a certain extent, but yeah, um, I'm having fun. If you get frustrated easily by games, avoid this one. If you're a fan of frustrating games or ones that really do push back and make it hard for you... Check this one out. It's a lot of fun. Um, if you don't like side scrollers, I tend to not. This is actually pretty good side scrollers. For some reason, the controls are really sharp in this case, which is my issue with most sides. I don't like floaty controls. I feel like I can land wherever I want every single time intentionally. And when I do indeed mess up in this game, it is most definitely my fault. But yeah, so with that being said. All right, this is the run. This is the run. Nope, this is not the run. Oh god damn it. Stupid skeletons. Ah god damn it. Prayer. Nice, this might be the run. Ah, no. I could have snuck across the top and killed a bunch of things. Okay. Well, that's gone. Nope. <laughs>